Hi there, it's Ryan G. Wright with DoHardMoney.com. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about the land flipping. Um, is flipping land profitable? And uh, a few years ago, I would have said absolutely not. And here's why. Land is a liability, not an asset. And the reason is, is most land doesn't produce any revenue. And remember, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket, not that takes it away. And if you have vacant land, you have to pay taxes on that land. Although you don't have to worry about insurance, because you don't have to insure anything because it's vacant land, not much is going to happen to that land. What you do have to worry about is paying those taxes, and sometimes those can be quite excessive. Um, and so I've always been a fan of, of no land. However, um, I've worked with a few investors that have done some land flipping, and what they do is they reach out and they make offers in mass for pennies on the dollar. So if you take like, if the taxes say the property's worth $30,000, they would send out an offer for $3,000 to a targeted list of people that may have some motivation. And with that, they would buy the property for $3,000 and maybe flip it for $6,000 or maybe for $10,000. So it's not a high, it's not a whole bunch of money and it is a whole lot of offers. So like if you're fixing flipping in a traditional sense, you probably have to make 20 to 40 offers to end up with a deal. If you're land flipping, you need to make hundreds or maybe thousands of offers. As a matter of fact, when they do their marketing, which they're still going to out-of-state owners, non-owner occupied, um, vacant property, you know, those types of things are doing the marketing to motivated sellers, not vacant properties because properties are all, all land is vacant. Um, but they're doing the motivated seller marketing and they're sending them offers. What they actually do is just do a calculation, send the offer with their uh, solicitation, with their letter, their postcard. And with that, then they're able to get some responses, but they're having to make a whole bunch of those offers to do it. So um, I think there is an opportunity there. I think you've gotta be really good at knowing how to do the marketing and you've gotta be pretty patient in that. And you've gotta have good network of real estate agents that work specifically with land. If you're not working with agents that just work with land, you're gonna find yourself getting in trouble pretty quickly. So um, I think it's something that you should could look at and consider. I personally tend to stick with the single family houses is uh, my forte or what I recommend. Uh, the profit margin is a little bit better and if you want to do that you might as well um, just deal with wholesaling properties because uh, with land you're really not improving it. You're buying it um, and you're just selling it the way that it is. Now you could get into improving and, and but then that's a development and that's going to take a lot of money um, and expertise and working with the cities to get approvals. Um, the guys that I know that are doing land are just uh, doing lots that are already there and they're flipping those lots for a profit. Um, and so I think uh, you also have funding issues when you're dealing with land. Not a lot of people want to fund land. So my personal preference is uh, you'll be better off dealing with sticking with single family houses. Although there is an opportunity in land, you just kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Hope this was helpful. If you'd like some more tips or tricks, head on over to dohardmoney.com and make it a very profitable day.